Now, this young man will blow your mind. He's a genius by all standards. He's 10 years old and he's already a bestseller author. He's written books for his all over America. He's in Ghana and I'm like, you know what? Let's bring Nicholas on. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Nicholas Bwama! Stallion, right. raising up a this battalion, is young dreamers and doers, successful entrepreneurs who rise in spite of the losers who choose a mock us and uh -huh. History hitting from us, uh -huh. blood, life, so royalty, kings, queens, and lords. You dance very well. You dance like me. You dance. <laughs> Nicholas, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm not the best year. Oh, sorry, I'm not the best year. I'm not the main candidate or producer. We the over half of Mr. Hamim. Oh, I have it. We the you know what I'm trying. This week three. A little bit. Just but you don't understand what I just said, right? No, That's our own no. welcoming. You know, we, Ghana, we are welcoming. We are accommodating like that. So I'm like, welcome home. This is the land of your birth. Yeah. yeah. How old are you? Ten? Yes, I'm ten. So um, where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. But my heart belongs to Ghana. <laughs> You're from where? Angola, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Where? Atlanta, Atlanta. Georgia. Atlanta. Yes. <laughs> ah. You said it so fast. I mean, you need to slow down for me. <laughs> yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> nice. So you're from what? Along Georgia? Okay. <laughs> so, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. I get it. <laughs> so you're here with your parents? Yes, I am. Your, your parents are Ghanaians? Uh, my dad is. He is a, he's from Kamasi and he's in Ashanti. And my mom's from South Bend, Indiana. Your mom is from where? South Bend, Indiana. That's what he said. That's where the mom is from. But the dad is from Kumase, Osekrum, Ashanti. So that makes you from Osekrum, Ashanti. You are, you are Kumase, sorry. You are uh, a Kuma. You are Ghanaian? Yes. You are Ghanaian as well? Yes. So, so, so you, this your third visit or first visit to Ghana? I believe this is my third. You believe? It's uh, my third or fourth. Your so. third or fourth. So what brings you to Ghana? Uh, well, I have a lot of projects that I'm going to be working on, so... Uh, what project is that? I mean, I can't talk too much about those. <laughs> you can't talk about it yet? Uh, not really, but I know that we will be... I'm actu I actually created my own sitcom, which we're looking for a Ghanaian dad to play my father in that, so if anybody wants to try that... Just oh, so you have a, a movie coming up? Well, is, that, is it like, yeah, <laughs> don't worry, I want to speak in the language that myself and my viewers will just understand. <laughs> you know, we have English and we have English. We have English and we have English. <laughs> and so probably we can, we can both speak. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. So you have a sitcom that you're working on. Yes. And that brings you to Ghana. You're going to star your dad in your own movie, sort of. Um, no, we are actually looking for a dad to star. Faculty, keep quiet. Your heart is beating. Ah. Maybe me too, bro. I can feel your heart beating the mic. And you said you are, you're, you're working on uh, a sitcom. So you're looking for like a Ghanaian dad yes. in that sitcom. Yes. Oh, okay. So you're here to shoot. Basically, you're shooting. You're making a uh, film. No, or, or... we're not going to shoot here. We're actually going to shoot in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, so you, you're, you're here to audition people and take them to the States, America? <laughs> um, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, man. <laughs> Do I look like your future dad in a sitcom? <laughs> I, I mean, I can gray my beard. I mean, I don't, I, I'm adventurous. I worked at anything. <laughs> yeah, put me, well, try me. <laughs> yeah. But are we coming back to Ghana after the sitcom? I believe so. No, I don't believe in it, Mimba. I think, yes. <laughs> no. Oh, you show me home, me. What I'm saying, after the sitcom, we would love to come home. Ghana is home. Yes. We yes. love it here. So, um, you also write books. This is like your. Okay, introduce your book to me, the first one, the second one. Well, this is the first one, Kayla and Kyle, The Walking Dictionary is Election so, Day. So, 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 uh, Kayla and Kylie, is that it? Kyle. Oh, Kyle. <laughs> My <laughs> <bon>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, so this is the first one. Oh, volume one. Yes. Election Day. The Walking Dictionaries. Yes. And the second one is A Puppy Surprise. 
The second one is what? A puppy surprise. A puppy surprise. <laughs> yes. And uh, this is written by you, Nicholas Buama. Yes. <laughs> wow. Tell us about the walk-in dictionary, the first one. At what age did you write this? At what age? I said, we brought from... I... I wrote this at age seven, actually. Yeah. Seven? Yes. You wrote this entire book at seven? Yes, I did. I, I don't want to tell you what I was doing at seven. Ah, pilo lo niye, mama ni dada niye. Na, di police and chief ka krao wono. Okay, why do you have a... Uh, who influenced you to write books at that tender age? Well, when I was at school, I was using um, bigger words. So my teacher, she had emailed my mother, and my mom thought it would be a great idea to write a book, and I definitely agreed with her. So. Oh, so you're good with big words? Yes, sort of. <laughs> yes. Do you still use big words a lot in communicating? Yes, I do. Words like? Um, desolate. Desolate means empty. So okay. I'm walking down a desolate hallway. That's one word. Desolate. Yes. Yeah, it means empty. Yes. Next, which other big word? Okay, um, antithesis. Huh? Antithesis. Opposite. It means opposite. Yeah, it means what? Class, it means what? Opposite. Class, stand. <laughs> that's, that's what? The, the word again. Op, um, antithesis. That, antithesis. Antithesis, it means what? Opposite. Faculty, stand up and spell the word antithesis. Intensis. Again. Intensis. Clap for faculty. <laughs> oh, you don't clap in your school. Oh, yes, sir. Do you people clap a lot for brilliant work? Yes. Yeah, it's general. It's a universal language. It encourages a lot of people. Uh, yeah, yes. they clap for me, but look at me now. Um, so this is this is good. So what was the plan really for this particular project? Are you? I'm backing on a project, a library project, education, well, books like this in schools here in Ghana. Uh, what exactly is the plan for you with all these books? Well, yes, I've, uh, I've actually donated some of my books to, li to libraries or schools and other nonprofits here in Ghana. Oh, great. That's, that's, you're a young man with a big heart. Let's check out some of your, uh, what you've been up to, especially in America. Uh, Alanga, Alanga, Georgia. <laughs> oh, <be> right back. <laughs> age of eight, uh, he's already a published author with the best-selling book on Amazon. Uh, his, his book is called Kayla and Kyle, The Walking Dictionary's Election Day. And it was also recently accepted into the Library of Congress. Everybody, please welcome Nicholas Buwama. Hey, Nicholas, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you? You, you don't know what it feels like to be a grown man and be talking to a child and, and you don't know how to talk to him because um, <laughs> you're huh? scared he might say something with a big word in you. You don't know what it is. Can I do it right now? Yeah, go ahead. Let me try it. Let okay, me... exacerbate. Exas what? Exacerbate. <laughs> Exacerbate? Well, just take one guess of what it means. I'll tell you what it means. It means to make a situation worse. Yeah, that's what it'll do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's right. All right, Steve Harvey, I know what exacerbates means. Did you just learn it? Hmm? Did you just learn it from me? What I'm trying to say is that sometimes I learn new words every day. And that's how you get better at this. Yes. So do you have more big words where you're coming from? Yes, I do. Like words like? Um, let's see. Ubiquitous. Do you ubiquitous. Know that, that, that I know, ubiquitous. So it's a cocktail, right? Give me a glass of ubiquitous. Casa <laughs> ubiquitous. Oh, I'm going to explain to you what it really means. Okay, please. It means common. It means what? Common. Come on. Yes. Oh. Guess I'm teaching you a little bit, so I'm officially a teacher. <laughs> You're officially a teacher. Yes. What, what do you want to be, well, become when you grow up? 
A mechanical more. engineer. A what? Mechanical engineer. Fita. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's achievable. It's doable. You can do this. All right? Yeah. And uh, so um, I'm getting a, a few comments from our viewers. We are live on national television, by the way. Yeah, so a lot, a lot more people, uh, your fans, they know what you've been up to, actually. So this was sent to me by a, a viewer who said, Giovanni, you should check this guy out. He's in Ghana this month, so interview him on your show. And he said you've met a lot of celebrities in, the, in America. Yes. Is that true? <laughs> yes, I have. Can you drop names? Oh, I've been honored by Whoopi Goldberg. I've been interviewed. Whoopi, 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 Whoopi Goldberg. Um, Sarah, Fina, Sam, I mean, they think, you know. Uh-huh, and then? Okay. I'm and, trying to describe her um, for people who don't know her. Okay. Yeah. You're doing a really good job. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, I've been interviewed by the 85 South Boys, and I've been interviewed by a radio station, which is V103. Oh, V103. Yes. Okay. And those are a few names. <laughs> what do you tell people about Ghana, even though uh, you don't live here with us? When I people ask you, oh, you're from what, Ghana? <laughs> tell us about Ghana. What do you tell them? I say Ghana is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. Wow. If not the most beautiful. <laughs> and I love the kind people because people are always nice to me. No, oh, nice. You feel at home anytime you're here? Yes. <laughs> ah, what are some of the food? Well, Ruffin Cram. Um, what food, what Ghanaian food do you enjoy most? I really, really, really love Kotome. <laughs> what? Kotome. Kotome. Yes. Kotomri. Right? That's how you put it. Kotomre. Kotomre. Is it a green, the green shoe, right? Is that a yes. green shoe? Yeah. Kotomre. The teacher's being taught something. Yeah, the teacher. <laughs> you know, you, you're never too old to learn. <laughs> yeah, or too young to learn. <laughs> kotomre, how do you like your kotomre? What do you eat it with? Uh, rice, actually. Oh, rice and kotomre. Yes, wow. I love it. Yeah, it makes you dance very well, like we saw earlier. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm making you laugh, my teacher. <laughs> so we have a, a nice cocktail for you. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, we just have, but this, this is not contemporary. This is mint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try it and see if it's tasty. Midasi. Oh, oh, come on. You're good. You're learning. I'll teach you a few uh, wise sayings in tree before you go, okay? Okay. Yeah, me tree, I do him. <laughs> my cheese, I'm pay, I'm pay. But uh, yeah, you like it? Yes, I love it. Oh, wow. It's great. phenomenal. Oh, yeah, it's tasty. Yeah. I have a few English words of my own. Do you want to try me? Sure. Okay. Hmm. I think I'll be good with Ajigong. Hey, Fangoti, what is it? Eh? Hmm. Fellow Ghanaians. <laughs> we'll, we'll continue after the break. Well, I'll tell you off air. I'll tell you off air, okay? Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you off air. All right. So, well, what do you want to tell Ghanaian kids your age? Um, I want to tell you guys, you're never too young to dream big. Oh. And everybody, make sure to follow me on my Instagram, mm -hmm. at Nicholas Buwama, and Facebook, at Nicholas Buwama, same and, thing. And your YouTube as well, right? Yes, just Nicholas Buwama. Nicholas Buwama, B-U-A-M-A-H, is yes. that it? Yes, yes. Nicholas Buwama. So we, we, we can't wait to see some of this works of yours in schools, libraries, you know, and also any opportunity you get to interact with your age mates as well, uh, especially down here. Yeah, mm -hmm. keep inspiring them, okay? Okay. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for allowing me to be here. 